Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chrissy with Van Adam Company. It's Thursday, March 2nd. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. A uh, big turnaround here in these markets as it just looked like you ran out of steam and it was accelerated with the fact that you got export sales here today and they just weren't fantastic. So um, in the ranges, but definitely uh, the lower end of the ranges as far as it goes. And that was just enough to really accelerate these markets. Also, US dollar quite a bit higher again, and that does put some pressure on commodities. So you had corn anywhere from four to five cents lower beans anywhere from 10 to 12 cents lower um, at 1.16 cents lower um, and then over into the wheat market you had quite a bit lower there eight to nine cents as well so overall just some pressure in these markets as they were up against the top end of the range we need managed money and, and index funds to continue to be buyers here to support these markets and when they're not around to buy you can definitely tell into these markets because you have a lot of sellers here for especially corn um, as far as selling those cash needs out there over into the meat markets, similar trade there as well, lower trade in live cattle, feeder cattle. You did have cash trade here. Um yesterday that was similar to last week so it's a little bit surprising that you did have um, some pressure as it should be supported with that similar cash trade we'll see if we get any here today later today or tomorrow and then over into the outside markets like i said a little bit on the unfriendly side crude was a bit lower anywhere from 75 cents to a dollar lower the dow had a little bit of a setback down about 30 points nothing huge but still lower nonetheless and that us dollar was higher so that just uh, paired up for a little bit of negative markets and you just had some sellers around there moving forward what you're going to be watching is just weather out of argentina they are a little bit wet you're starting to see some pictures show up of um, some train or some trucks starting to really struggle to get those beans to port and um, but more that's just logistics more than anything the crop is still in good condition but we'll have to be watching that to see how everything pans itself out and then also tomorrow you'll be watching to see what managed money did from wednesday to wednesday that'll give us a good hint at whether they're going to stick around this market a little bit longer I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.